You can't help someone else without helping yourself first. Welcome to your daily motivation and inspiration with Dan on this lovely snowy day where everything's white and bright. So this video is about how you help others by helping yourself first. Most people don't think like that and that's what the problem is today. Most people go out and try to help others without helping themselves first. So my impression of that is that we're not even equipped to help other people because we haven't experienced it ourselves first. So as an example, when I think about my day and my day started an hour and a half ago and I start by writing some things I'm grateful for, writing affirmations, thinking about what I want to happen for the day and uh, doing some reading and writing, setting intentions for my day, setting myself up for the day first. Because if I just get up and start looking at emails and all sorts of information from other people, that's going to put me on somebody else's agenda and it's not going to make me my best at my highest and best and it's not going to help me to help others better. So I put myself first before helping others. And that's why on the plane they say put your mask on first because if you don't put your mask on, you're not breathing and you can't help anybody. You're gone too. So that makes complete sense and it's the same thing in life. You have to take care of yourself first. You cannot teach others what you don't know. You cannot teach others what you haven't learned. You can't teach others unless you've experienced something and that means you have to do it first. And it's exactly why I'm suggesting that you should start your day putting yourself first. Most people don't. You might think that having a coffee and breakfast is putting yourself first. No, you're probably sitting there with your phone in your hand and checking messages and seeing what's going on in social networks or watching some video or something like that on YouTube. And uh, you know, maybe if you're watching this video, that's a good thing. But here's the thing. You need to put yourself first because you need to be at your best. You need to have some experience, some knowledge, something that's going to help others understand how they can move through their challenges. And if you just start your day, just start your day doing something for yourself. It might be a little bit of fitness, cardio, yoga, something. Just a little something that's going to help you to be at your highest and best instead of just getting up and doing whatever comes your way because then you're living by the circumstances of what's going on in your life. You're not controlling it. It's controlling you. And I'm going to provide you with a link, by the way, that's going to show you how to set up your day for success. And it has five, I think, maybe, sorry, eight steps in it. And you can pick a couple of them or one of them or all of them up to you. But the key here is start your day for success. And the only way you can do that is by taking time out to do things for yourself. And I'm not just saying this. This, this is based on research. We're looking at people around the world that we think are super successful and powerful, like maybe... Uh, Oprah Winfrey or Richard Branson, anybody that has any amount of success sets themselves up for the day by doing some practice of some kind for themselves. They don't get up and do anything else for anybody else. They do it for themselves. At home, my wife gets up and does an hour or more of yoga. That's every day, just like I do two hours of practice every day. This is part of my practice, this walk that I'm doing here every day. It's a daily practice. I go out in nature every day, I do a practice every morning, I do cardio, yoga, these are the kinds of things that you can do to prepare yourself for success and then you can help other people to prepare for their success. Make sense? And it could be for your kids as well, it doesn't have to be for people you work with or in business. So if you're not watching this video on my YouTube channel, go over there and subscribe. If there's more videos like this, you can learn lots more and gain lots of benefit. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video.